So now that our OW Space Image View Controller has set its property of space object in the prepare for segue method in the OW Outer Space Table View Controller, we can use that property in order to update our image view. We're going to be able to update the value of self.imageView to make it our space object's space image. And we're going to be able to have it so that we're going to be able to display whatever our table view's cell's image was in our scroll view. So in order to do that, we're going to go to the view did load method in OW space image view control.m and we're going to remove this little bit here, UI image image name jupyter.jpg because that was hard coded. And we're going to access our space object. So we're going to say self.space object. And space object has a property called space image. And now we can go ahead and run our application. And when we press on our table view cell, we see that now we have Venus. We can go back and check another one. So let's check Uranus. And we see that Uranus is displaying properly. And we can also check Neptune. So we see that Neptune is also here. So now our view controllers are displaying whatever image was on our UI table view cell. Now there's one other thing I want to cover in this lesson. And we're going to have to go back to our OW outer space table view controller.m file. And we're going to go look in the prepare for segue method. So some of you may have said to yourselves, self, um, why are we bothering to pass this space object? Why can't I just directly set up my image view to be whatever image is here, right? So I have this space object. Space object has a property called space image. So why couldn't I write some code? I'm just going to comment this line of code out just so we can test this out. Um, next, viewcontroller.imageView.image is equal to selected object.space image. Wouldn't this work just as well? I could set up my image view immediately and it would display the right image. And I wouldn't have to bother with this process of creating a property in my OW outer space image view controller and setting it here like so. Why do I have to go through that extra step and also update an OW outer space image view controller? Well, let's first see if this works. So let's go ahead and run our application. And let's press on Mercury. We notice that it's not updating right now. So why isn't this working, right? I have access to the correct properties. My code isn't breaking. What's going on here? Well, the issue is for IV outlets and UI elements, they aren't available to us in the prepare for segue method. They only become prepared or available to the view controller after that view controller is presented on the screen. So we use what's called a proxy property in order to hold on to some value and then in the view did load method we can update our UI elements appropriately. So don't set UI properties inside of the prepare for segue method. Instead, do what we did which was create a property, pass an object, be it a string, an image, or in our case, an OW space object, to your new view controller. And then now you have access to that object using self and the name of that property, and you can use it to update your UI elements appropriately inside of the view to the loan method.